Okay, guys, we're going to be doing the polishing now. So let's check out. Let's just get let's get this one out of the way. Let's do this. All right. So let's animate this control. Let's go in, in, out, in, out, in, out. Yeah. So let's try and keep this one simple. We'll get this control, this control, this control here. All right, you know what? We'll use this control. This, this. Wait, this one. And this one. You know what? Let's try and rotate this like this. So we rotate that back. This one always goes back. And this bent one. Okay, it's going to be a bit different. And then that goes back. That one. And then that one. Alright, let's see. Well, what we'll do let's see if this works have it just slightly forward now all right so what we'll do we'll select all of these controls Make sure it's all flat. Remember flat cycle, and then we'll start offsetting. Right? So let's go to this one and say let's do it. Offset it by one. Let's offset this by one two. Offset that by one two three. You can already see it's delaying there. One two three four, and then five. Let's see one two. Three, four, five. Let's see how this. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. All right, what we can do, we can leave that for now. It's bouncing. Yes, going with the momentum, which is cool. Okay, now what we can do, we come back here, put the controls back on. Let's check out the eyes. What's the second control? Yeah, we want the second one. The second one here, right? Well, let's do one at a time. So let's go to the eyelids. Okay, upper and lower. Oh, that's it. There are the controls. Select this one too. So let's have a like that and also should we give it should we give it a sad? Or angry. What's the angry one? <laughs> oh, well, let's see this. Okay, let's delete the end keys here so it doesn't go back to neutral. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> angry, he's got an attitude there. He's coming for someone. See how the eyes can just completely change the attitude. Of the character so what we can do is eyes are so important I know our mentor used to always say the eyes they never lie the eyes or I got another idea why don't we do this why don't we open it a bit <coughs> and this is where the fun comes in after you've done all the mechanics and everything now you can 
well now you can keep it neutral we will like sad side is cool and the lower oh oh it could be like that right so now what we can do is it could be like that so let's check this one out all right and then now what we can do is as he comes down you know the jaw could slightly come up and then down and then up yeah so you're getting that personality coming through now it's like he's like I don't know tired and sleepy or you're gonna offset the jaw a couple of frames and look it's like he's breathing so if we do it one frame have a look and then one two cut four frames sorry what I'm doing here is just moving the keys back to see how that looks so that's on zero wait that's on zero so it's no offset couple of frames it just makes him look like he's breathing three frames even three frames is cool or two frames that's cool and then, then you can just play around you can be like all right i can lift the that's a bit too much but you know always better to push there so you've got a little subtle movement there which is nice we can just bring this down yeah that's better it? just a little bit down so that works nicely and, uh, and then the last thing we can do is if we go back to the feet so bring the go back to the feet here we go to the start select the foot so we could select this foot and you know we could be like okay let's break these joints and maybe have it come down a bit more abrupt so if you look now it's a bit more solid the way it comes down and maybe and then maybe here That's fine, we don't have to worry about that, we can cycle that, that's fine. And this one too, you know, we can come back, foot roll, and like here where it lands, we can break. So you can, what you can do is, at the moment the handles are like this. If you want to break it, you just go to here, break, but then you want to go to keys, non-weight, sorry, key, always get this one wrong, weighted. Weighted tangents lets you control. Some people like it, some people don't. I I I live swear by it, and then I've got shortcuts for this on my keypad, so it's keypad, sorry, so you can see. But let me just try and play around and see. You see, it gives more of an impact there. See, there's less spacing, so it's more of an impact. And then then you can just come in and be like, all right, let me clean. Let me clean a uh, little bit to light this up. So you know, this is all lining up here. You know you can come here maybe clean it up if you want and then that's fine they look cool here oops and then this one is the same so if we go to this one we could be like just lining it up this is just when you're just finessing it so what is that 9.61 go to the end and just type it in there 9.61 and then you can go through each frame and be like okay that's fine that's fine uh maybe i want it to be a bit more like that oh sorry like that but that's fine that was an in, in between so then you're just you're just adding little bits like that and the other thing you can do is once you have it let me just save this quickly as polishing 
polishing 001. Now you've got it all working. You might, oh, this is cool. So what we can do, we can make it into a side face. And as we come down, I'll bring it down a bit. So sad face, but that's cool. There's all these this rig, rig is amazing. Uh, you can scale the eyes here as well. Look, that's cool. We can add a bit of scale as well when he lands, just to give it that little bit of polish. But again, what we can do here is, so you've got this root control, and as you can see the root control here, it's going straight. So. If we do this, it's going straight. So what we do, we can copy this. This is what we do in games. So we copy this. Some people animate on the spot, some people don't, but this is how I do it. And then if you want it on the spot, you just select the root controller, the main one, go to the, delete all the keys, make sure there's keys at the start, and literally just paste. So you're pasting it in, but the value at the end here, you just put in a minus here. And then make sure that's, post to fit it just in case you want to make it move forever and ever now if you notice when it's when you when he walks it's on the spot so that's how you get it on the spot bake it export it and then you can put it in game now let's coming back here we we're talking about the eyes so let's look at this so you've got scale here so what we can do we could be like all right when it lands so when he steps I can key and then maybe slightly big and then back to zero or whatever that start was. All right, that one, copy that over. And then same thing we can do, same thing we can do, copy all these keys and when he steps again here, just paste it. And if you look now, there's a little bit of a squash there right now what we can do that's a bit too much but what we can do we can select the controls and here's the scales and then we just want a very very subtle one it's almost like it's not there but you know you can feel it so if we look now it's very subtle isn't it so we can even move it down a bit more so it just gives it that much more life and yeah there you have it there you have it so you've got a little walk cycle there cartoony uh, you can do all kinds of things you can speed it up if you want you can come here and i don't know go to 50 select all the keys move it and then do it you can do a really slow one and then you can check out so if I select everything and just snap, and then here you can see where it ends. So it ends here. So if you just type in 30, it should cycle from there then. So if we come now, there might be a little few glitches there but you can sort that out that's not a problem but then you got like that's really sad right yeah you can go in so if you go what i normally do is one of the ways i would do it would be if i select all the geo go to the start duplicate that control p control p brings everything out then group that. So when you press, when you duplicate, it creates another one inside that group. You press Control P, it comes out. Then you group it. But I can get rid of that because I already got one there. So in order for you to just match and see which one, just keep playing it until it matches. So let's see. So if we go to. So let's go to, let's put this in the layer and just hide it, select everything, 
and we can be like okay everything's cycling which is good okay this is cycling forward we can cycle this we'll cycle the feet Let's make sure everything's on cycle otherwise okay we want the feet to be forward so we want it to be like get this cycle that's the one we want okay and then unhide and I like to go in the side of you and I used to like to go on wireframe and see until it matches completely so let's go to 100 see that 59 so we go to 59 that frame looks like everything is matched oh it's not properly matching All right, let's check out. Okay, let's cycle all of this. That seems to be all right. Oh, it's this. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, see, that's what it is, look. Rotate. See, you see little glitches like this. And then what we can do. What's this? 11? Let's put 11 here. Put 11. Put 11 here. Okay, that's there you go. So that's so basically you can just, just I mean this is not really slow, but you know you can play around with the timing, you can bring it back, what have you. But yeah, that's that's basically how you do a walk and then just by changing the face, the eyes. Uh, I'll talk a bit more about this in the conclusion, but when you just changing the neck shape, the back shape you know you know this is a sad character so all you can do if you you've got an existing walk here and if you want to change it go into the x-axis and just start I don't know can you rotate rotate it down yeah look you can start rotating it like this you know you, you're already changing the attitude like that yeah it's sad isn't it and then you can even have the arms less rolling have them just forward like this but yeah, that's uh, that's how you do a simple walk cycle with a car 2D character. So I'll do some more animations with this. I'm really enjoying these pro rigs. Definitely worth uh, subscribing to and go and getting the rigs. They're brilliant. You know, the, the guy who created this rig, he, I've met him. He was an animator. I met him at my graduation at Animation Mentor. And he broke off. He's doing his own thing now and he's made pro rigs. This is brilliant. You know, he's, he was a great animator. I remember one of his lectures at Animation Mentor. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video and we'll conclude on this class. So let's let's go.